What's going on guys? Austin here, and uh, in this video we're going to be taking a look at 5 Minute Fantasies Week 13, Booming and Busting Running Backs. So my start of the week I'm going to say is going to be uh, Todd Gurley. I think that, I don't think he's going to have the best game of any running back, but I think he's going to have the biggest uptick from his normal production uh, going up against the uh, Arizona Cardinals. I think that Arizona presents um, a weird defensive line matchup where they can rush the passer well. Uh, and that has a lot to do with their uh, outside linebackers. Um, but they can't really stop the run as well. Uh, so I think that Todd Gurley, uh, this could you know potentially be a 20-plus uh, carry game for him. I'm also going to say start Miles Sanders, the rookie for Philadelphia, uh, going up against Miami Dolphins. I think that he's slowly turning himself into... Uh, the number one back uh, in that locker room. Um, and going up against the Miami Dolphins, you expect Philadelphia to be up for a lot of it and, you know, using Miles as a, um, you know, kind of like a kill-the-clock guy or, I guess, bleed-the-clock guy. I'm also going to say start Devonta Freeman. Uh, I think that, um, you know, Atlanta doesn't really want to have to deal with the pass rush that New Orleans has. And so using Devonta Freeman, especially with Matt Ryan now kind of in a slump, you know, he's coming off the injury, but... You know, he hasn't really been the same since. So, you know, look for Devonta Freeman to have a lot of those touches um, and to be able to carry the load for the Atlanta offense going up against New Orleans. I'm going to say start both Austin Eckler and uh, Melvin Gordon again uh, going up against this uh, Denver defense. I think that, um, you know, they've never really been very good at stopping the run, especially this year. Um, but... Uh, you know, between Austin Eckler catching passes out of the backfield and Melvin Gordon um, in his, you know, down the down the middle and his uh, shiftiness once he gets into the secondary, I think that that, um, you know, pretend, uh, potentially, uh, you know, could be about 30 points, 40 points between the two of them, uh, you know, just depending on how it uh, gets split up. Uh, and then I'm going to say start Philip Lindsay also against the Chargers because, uh, you know, Denver has sort of lost uh, faith in their passing game. I mean, especially with Emmanuel Sanders gone. Um, now, you know, I mean, it's really going to be really easy just to kind of sit there and target uh, Cortland Sutton. Uh, so look for Philip Lindsay to have a lot of the game touches uh, in terms of that offense right there. <clears throat> I'm going to say sit Leonard Fournette. He's going up against Tampa Bay, who, um, you know, Tampa Bay this year is the only team that's been able to slow down um, Chris McCaffrey. Well, Maybe except Cam Newton in the second game. I think Cam Newton had more to do with with uh, Tampa Bay shutting him down in the second game of the season uh, than it did you know, a couple weeks ago. But uh, I think Leonard Fournette is going to have a really hard time getting off on this Tampa Bay defense. I know earlier in the year I said you know not to start him, and he did well. And then the one day I said, all right, fine, you can start him. He did poorly. I know this is going to be one of those games where you know he has to face a really tough defense, and it's not going to bode well for him. Uh, sit Mark Ingram. I think that um, Baltimore, if they're going to have, if they're going to win this game, it's going to be with the short passes. I think a lot of those are going to go to the tight end uh, and the wide receivers cutting across the middle. Um, you know, the San Francisco uh, op defensive line is like a stacked one, and that's not one that uh, Baltimore can look player to player on their offensive line and say we're better than you. Uh, you know, even though they've been running the ball so effectively. Uh, so sit. Mark Ingram. I'm also going to say sit Chris Carson. He has to go up against the Minnesota Vikings, who is arguably, you know, another top four uh, running defense. You know, they um, they have the least amount of attempts against them, the least amount of, like, first downs, like a really low amount of yards per carry, the least amount of, like, total yards, the least amount, second or, second or third least amount of touchdowns scored. So, you know, be careful about him. Uh, and then we're going to say sit Joe Mixon uh, going up against the uh, New York Jets this week. Uh, the Jets, over the last, I think it's six weeks, um, are actually a top five uh, run defense uh, in the NFL over the over that six weeks span. The last six weeks, they've been doing a lot better lately. Um, so look for Joe Mixon. Un, I mean Giovanni Bernard, and I don't know who else they still have on that team. I don't know, they're pretty bad, um, but be careful. Don't start the uh, Cincinnati Bengals uh, backfield at all this week. 